the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ah, the Lord be with you. And good afternoon, everybody. And a very warm welcome to you all. We've just listened to that uh, beautiful hymn. I heard the voice uh, of Jesus say, Come thou and follow me. And we give thanks for the ways in which, in his life, Jesus called to Rajinda. In the secret of his heart, in his life's experience, and we can give thanks for that calling. We can give thanks also that the Lord is forever gazing upon us and looking upon us. We can give thanks that we are precious in our, His sight and every hair in our head has been counted. And so we give thanks for the grace and gift of Jesus our Lord, uh, risen from the dead, who by dying destroys our death and restores it to life. So we offer this Requiem Mass for Rajinda, uh, praying that he may rest in peace. And we pray especially at this time for Elizabeth, and Shaman and Rakini and Sanji and Andrew and Gurpreet and Aman and Anjali. We pray for all those who love uh, Rajinda that you may be consoled uh, at this time and that you may welcome the Lord into your hearts, into your life, into your experience. So let us pray for him, and let's call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your departed servant, Rajinda, also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If it is certain that death reigned over everyone as the consequences of one man's fall, it is even more certain that one man, Jesus Christ, will cause everyone to reign in life who receives the free gift that he does not deserve of being made righteous. Again, as one man's fall brought condemnation on everyone, so the good act of one man brings everyone life and makes them justified. 
as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by one man's disobedience, many will be made righteous. When the law came, it was so, it was to multiply the opportunities of falling. But however, great the number of sins committed, grace was even greater. And so, just as sin reigned, wherever there was death, so grace will reign to bring eternal life, thanks to the righteousness that comes through in Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow and leads me to the quiet streams. He restores my soul and he leads me in the paths that are Alleluia, alleluia. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Two of the disciples were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now, as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side. 
but something prevented them from recognizing him. He said to them, What matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. Then one of them called Cleopas answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. What things? he asked. All about Jesus of Nazareth, he answered, who proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people, and how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have gone by since it all happened, and some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning, and when they did not find the body, they came back to tell us that they'd seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the women had reported, but of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory? Then, starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing, then he broke it and handed it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven assembled together with their companions, who said to them, Yes, it is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized him at the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. It's the first day of the week. The Sabbath is over. It's the first day of the week. A new week. And in this Gospel, a new week, a new time, and a new age. For God in Christ, in his resurrection, is recreating and renewing all things. And he does it for these two disciples walking back to Emmaus. 
They have lost the one that they love, the one they cherished, the one in whom they placed all their hopes, and he's been taken from them. And it's a very difficult, bitter experience. We had hoped, they said, we had hoped that this would be the one who would set us free. They've lost all hope. Their hope has grown grey hairs. Their hope has mourning on. And they're walking back. And the stranger comes and joins them. And he listens to them. And he listens to them very deeply. He listens to what they're saying. He listens to their story. And he enters into their situation and into their story and sheds light upon it and opens the scriptures for them. And gradually the darkness clears and the light shines into the darkest, most hopeless places of their hearts. And as they go along, it's changing and changing dramatically. And then it's time for them to, it's evening time and he's going to go on and they say to him, stay with us. Stay with us, for the day is almost over. And he goes in, and he breaks the bread with him. And at that moment, they recognize him, and he disappears from their sight. And at once, the penny has dropped, the light has the light has dawned. The resurrection has broken through into their very hearts and lives. And they make their way back to Jerusalem with great excitement to speak to the other disciples whom they've left behind. And when they go in, the disciples say, yes, it's true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. And they tell their story. They tell their story of what had happened to them on the road and how they had recognized him at the breaking of bread. And so it is for you and I, and so it is for Rajinder. We give thanks for the ways in which Rajinda felt called by the Lord in his life and in his story, in his experience. And we give thanks for the joys of his life, the joys of his life going back so many years, the joys in which you have shared. And you can give thanks for that. Give thanks for the ways in which his life touched your life at different times with joy and happiness and peace. And of course, as the psalm, the Lord's, my shepherd makes clear, these are the green times in our lives. But all of us have darker times when we, as the psalm says, we walk through the valley of darkness, but we're never alone. And even then, Jesus is still calling, calling to us. Jesus never abandons us. So we think of the sorrowful mysteries of our lives, the sorrows of Rajinder's lives and his frustrations and his difficulties and his sufferings, and we don't overlook that. 
And we hand that over to the Lord. We hand that over to the Lord. But more than this, much more than this, we celebrate today the resurrection of Jesus. And we celebrate the promise of the risen life to Rajinder. That is what Jesus wants for him. He wants to share his glory with Rajinder. And so we see by his coffin, we have burning the Easter candle. The Easter candle, the sign that Jesus is risen from the dead, that we are an Easter people, that we stake our lives on the victory of Jesus, on the victory of his death and resurrection, that we are an Easter people and Alleluia is, is our song. That death is not the end, but for us is the gateway uh, to everlasting life. And Jesus <coughs> goes ahead of us. And Jesus goes ahead of Rajinda. And so we give thanks for that great grace about which St. Paul writes in the first reading from the Mass today uh, to Romans. When law, however great, he says, however great the number of sins committed, grace was even greater. And grace is always greater. And grace will reign. Grace will reign, we believe, with all our hearts because of our merciful Lord and Saviour, because of his cross and resurrection, because of his passionate and undying love for you and me and for Reginder. Grace will reign. Grace will reign to bring him to eternal life thanks to the righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. God, the Almighty Father, raise Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. <clears throat> We pray for Rajinda as he beats God. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, please We pray for Rajinda as he is welcomed by the saints into heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, please We pray for all those who have died in Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, For Rajinda's family and friends, that the Lord may console them. Lord, hear us. Lord, For our deceased relatives, and friends that may have the reward of their goodness, Lord, hear us. Lord, For all the sick, help them in their need, Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, please, For peace in the world, Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, please, Lord, Jesus, please,
Please stand. I pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Lord our God. I look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed, departed servant, Regina, may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is our right It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection is done. That those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when the earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, for sun and for eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, for sun and for eyes. And at this point in the Mass, you may wish to continue standing or to sit down. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Font of Holy God. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true form, so that they may become for us the body and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for all, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until the day of our giving. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of love and the channels of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Reginda, whom you have called from this world to your son. united with your Son in a death like me, may also be one with me in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your flesh. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our blessings be spared. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Alleluia.
ਮੈਂ ਜਬੂਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੋਥੀ ਚੋਂ ਕੁਝ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬੋਲਣ ਲੱਗੀ ਸਾਰ ਬੋਲਣ ਲੱਗੀ ਹਾਂ ਸਤ ਹੈ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਦਾਵ ਦਾ ਮਸਕਾਰ हे ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਮੇਰੀਆਂ ਇੱਛਾ ਕਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਜੋ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰੀ ਹੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਆਇਆ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਯੋਹਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਖਿਆ ਆਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਹੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਹੈ ਮੇਥੋਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਮੇਥੋਂ ਪਰੇ ਨਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਭਲਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਤ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹਨ ਪ੍ਰਵੰਤ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੂਜੇ ਦੇ ਮਗਰ ਭੱਜਦੇ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਗਰ ਗਮ ਵੱਧ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਲਹੂਆਂ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਭੇਟਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਡੋਲਾਂਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੁੱਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਉ ਲਵਾਂਗਾ ਯੋਹਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਯੋਹਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਦਾਖ ਮੇਰੇ ਕਟੋਰਾ ਭਰਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਰਖਵਾਲਾ ਹੈ ਮਨ ਪਾਉਂਦੇ ਥਾਵਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਲਈ ਅਜ਼ੀਬ ਪਾਈ ਹੈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੰਗਾ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਯੋਹਾ ਨੂੰ ਮੁਬਾਰਕ ਆਖਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਲਾਹ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਰਾਤ ਦੇ ਵੇਲੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਮੁਰਦੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਿਖਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਮੈਂ ਸਦਾ ਦੀ ਸਦਾ ਹੀ ਯੋਹਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਸੱਜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਇਸੇ ਇਸੇ ਲਈ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਇਸੇ ਲਈ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਡੋਲਾਂਗਾ ਆਮੀਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ This is the eulogy for my dad on behalf of my mom um Rajinder Kumar Lal My husband Rajinder was a good man We had been married for almost 38 years, filled with many memories, mostly great, but some with downs here and there. He was an intelligent and very helpful. I sometimes was left in awe at how much knowledge he had. He always knew how to get home if we ever took a wrong turn down the motorway before all this new technology was around. Born 21st June 1965 in Jalandhar, Punjab, uh, to parents Biara Lal and Alice Devi, He was the eldest child of 3 with a younger sister Anita Lal and a brother Stephen Lal. He adored his siblings and treated them like his own children. We have four children, three sons and a daughter, Shimon, Rohini, Sanjay and Andrew. Rohini is married to Gapri and so he has another son and two grand uh, another son and two grandchildren, Aman and Anjali. Rajinder came to the UK when he was 9 years old in 1974. He quickly adapted to the culture and language and was very loved. He was a very social person, always having fun, laughing and joking. He thoroughly enjoyed being part of any gathering and never left anyone out. He had many hobbies and interests. He had a great love for music, especially Punjabi music, as he was friends with many of the upcoming local Punjabi music bands during the 1980s. However, his first and true love was Liverpool FC. He was an avid football fanatic. Rajinda played football regularly growing up with his friends and he also played semi-professionally with the likes of Les Ferdinand. He never missed an opportunity to have a kick about down the park. He developed such a passion for the game that he was regularly coming home with cuts and bruises and then going back again to play some more. He completed his education from Villiers High School in 1981 and went straight into work. Actually, his first job was with the local milkman dropping off locals orders in the early hours when he was just 15 years old he then began his working life as a porter with british airways and bi- built himself up to the position of an immigration officer working at london heathrow and various other airport locations around london in fact rajinder was one of the detainee custody officers during the afghani hijacking at stansted airport in 1983 rajinder and i were arranged to marry We were introduced to each other by our family and I was living in India at the time. We first met on 31st March 1983 at London Heathrow Airport when I just arrived from India. Rajinda and his family came to greet me at the airport. The next time we met was 3 or 4 days later at my sister's house to start the beginning of a friendship. A very early memory of one of our first conversations is when Rajinda was curious to know how I would address him after we were married. He was expecting something formal and traditional. I thought it was a strange question, so I replied, I will call you by your name, Rajinda. But then I thought of calling him Raja, and a, sh- a shorter form for Rajinda, which also translates to mean king, and he decided to call me Rani as the queen to Raja. 
We were married on 18th June 1983 at St. John's Church in Southall. We had a great start to our marriage. As we were the same age, we got along really well. We initially lived with our parents, but eventually moved out into our own place as the children came along. As a young man, he was a very active and loving father. He always wanted to be involved with the children's activities and enjoyed taking them to the parks and games at QPR Stadium regularly. He introduced his passion for football to his children at a very young age and kept his Sunday afternoons free to spend the day with his friends and their children playing the game. He enthusiastically got involved at the children's sports days and chaperoned the, chaperoned the, boy, the boys to their football tryouts and games. He was a proud father and enjoyed watching the kids play. We regularly attended Sunday Mass at St. Anselm's Church as a family and Regina started each day with prayer. He enjoyed reading newspapers daily and he liked to keep up to, as he liked to keep up to date. And he was very fond of the daily crossword puzzles. Reginda has taught me many things, which I will never forget. I can't tell you enough of how much of a hole he has left behind. He will live on in our memories. Goodbye, my dear husband. We will meet again. Until then, see you soon. ਮੈਂ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਮਸੀਹ ਦੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਗਾਉਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਨਿਕਣਾ ਹੋਰ ਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਮਾਮ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਗਾਣਾ ਗਾਇਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਸੁਣਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਸੁਣਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਾਮ ਦਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਜ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਜਿੰਦਰ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਚਲੇ ਗਿਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਰਾਣੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਰਾਜਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੁਣ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਦਿਲ ਦਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੂੰ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਸੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਾਂ-ਬਾਪ ਆਪਣੇ ਭੈਣ ਭਰਾ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਪਰਸਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੂੰ ਚਲੇ ਗਿਆ ਜਿਹ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਕੱਠਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਭਰਾ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਕੱਠਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਉੱਠ ਕੜੋ ਅੱਜ ਅੱਜ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵਾਜਾ ਮਾਰਦੀਆਂ ਤੇਰੀਆਂ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਤੇ ਪਰਜਾਈਆਂ ਆਈਆਂ ਤੇਰੇ ਖੇੜੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇਰੇ ਬਸੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੇੜੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਤੂੰ ਚੁੱਕ ਚਲਿਆਂ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇਠਾ ਲੋ ਲੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਭੈਣੋ ਆਪਣੇ ਵੀਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਬਚਾ ਲੋ ਇਹ ਚੁੱਕ ਚਲਿਆਂ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਭ ਨੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਅਨੀਤਾ ਠਾ ਲੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਵੀਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੇ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਆਈ ਉਹ ਬੰਦੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਤੂੰ ਉਹ ਗੁੱਤ ਦੇ ਦੇਰੀ ਸਜਾਈ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਰੋਣ ਅਸ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਆਉਣਾ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਉੱਠ ਲਾ ਤੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਦਾ ਸੋਣਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਪੁੱਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਬਰੇ ਹਾਲ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਉਹ ਖਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਜ ਉਹ ਬੇਟੂ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਤੇਰਾ ਬਾਪ ਹੋਇਆ ਅਦਾਸ ਮੈਂ ਪੁੱਤ ਦਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਲਦਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਵੀਰਾ ਡਬ ਡਬ ਰੋਂਦਾ ਏ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਟੁੱਟ ਗਈ ਦੇਖ ਸਰਜਿੰਦਰਾ ਤੂੰ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਤੇਰੀਆਂ ਭਾਬੀਆਂ ਆਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਲਖਵਿੰਦਰ ਤੇ ਦੀਦੀ ਨਿਰਮਲ ਤੇਰੇ ਵੀਰੇ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਰਾਜ ਪੱਪੂ ਤੇ ਦੇਵਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਇਹਰਾ ਹੀ ਸਮਝਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਰਿੰਦਰਾ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਤੂੰ ਕਿਉਂ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇਹ ਰਿੰਦਰ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਦਿਲ ਦੀ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਗਾਣਾ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਸੁਣਦੀ ਸੀ ਤੂੰ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਰੋਜ਼ ਗਾਣੇ ਗਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਮਸੀਹ ਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੁਆਵਾਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਰੋਜ਼ ਅੱਜ ਉਹ ਦਿਨ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਖਤਮ
ਡੈਡੀ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਜਾਵਾਂ ਉਹ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਉਹ ਆਖਰੀ ਦਿਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੂੰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਰੇਨੂ ਠਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਪ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਸ਼ਮੋਂਤ ਸੰਜੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਪੁੱਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹੀ ਕਹਿਣੀ ਆ ਔਰ ਵਾਜ ਮਾਰ ਲੋ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਪ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਤੇਰੀ ਚਾਚੀ ਆਈ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਨਾਲੇ ਭੈਣ ਤਰੀਏ ਵੀ ਨਾਲ ਜੋਨੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਉਹੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਲੈ ਸਾਨੂ ਰਜਿੰਦਰਾ ਆਖਰੀ ਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਤੂੰ ਚੁੱਲਿਆ ਚੁੱਤ ਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਰਾਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਚੁੱਤ ਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਉਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਤੂੰ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਰਾਣੀ ਹੋਰ ਸੁਣਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਗਾਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਰੋਜ਼ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੋ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਬਣ ਲਾ ਤੂੰ ਭਾਣਾ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਤੂੰ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਯਿਸੂ ਕੋਲ ਹੈ ਜਾਣਾ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਸਾਡਾ ਦੇਸ਼ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਤੇਰੇ ਵੀਰੇ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਦੂਰ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਆਏ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਰਜਿੰਦਰਾ ਵੇ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੀਰੋ ਤੇ ਭਰਾਵੋ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਠਾਲ ਕੇ ਉੱਠ ਬਿਠਾਓ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੰਦ ਆਇਆ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਦੋਖਾ ਮਾਰ ਜਗਾਵੋ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਰਜਿੰਦਰਾ ਵੇ ਤੂੰ ਚਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਉਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਅਮਨ ਦੀ ਅੰਜਲੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਨਾਨਾ ਤੂੰ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਤੂੰ ਚਲਿਆ ਤੂੰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਫੋਨ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਲਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਰਜਿੰਦਰਾ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਸਿਸਟਰਾਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਹੱਸ-ਹੱਸ ਕੇ ਬੁਲਾਉਂਦਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਯਾਦ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਰਕਰਾਉਂਦਾ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਮਨਾਉਂਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਮੁੱਠ ਕੇ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਪੰਗੜਾ ਪਾਉਂਦਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਤੂੰ ਤੂੰ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇਠਾ ਲੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਰਾਵੋ ਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਤੁਰ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਮੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਨੂੰ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਮਾਮਾ ਵਰਗੀ ਸੱਸ ਇਹ ਮਾਮਾ ਵਰਗੀ ਭੈਣ ਉਹ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵਾਜਾ ਮਾਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਠ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਤੂੰ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਰਾਜਾ ਤੂੰ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਇਤੇ ਬੋਬੀ ਟਿੱਪੂ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਮਾਸੜ ਮਾਸੜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਬਹਿੰਦਾ ਤੂੰ ਹੱਸ ਹੱਸ ਕੇ ਸਹਿ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਾਣ ਜੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਾਣ ਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਆਏ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੇਖ ਦੇਖ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਕਿਉਂ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਰਾਜਾ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਲਾਵੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਭੈਣ ਭਰਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਤਾਂ ਰੋਂਦੀ ਏ ਡੁਬ ਡੁਬ ਸਾਹਾ ਨਾਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੋਂਦੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਵੀਰਾ ਤੂੰ ਬਾਲਾ ਤੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਹੱਥ ਗੁੱਟਦਾ ਧੋਂਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਮੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਹੱਸਦੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਤੂੰ ਕੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਜੇ ਰੱਖੜੀ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਚਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੰਦਾ ਤੂੰ ਉੱਠ ਜਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਇਹ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਇਹ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਦੇ ਬੀਵੀ 
ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਾਜਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਇਹ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਰਾਣੀ 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 ਰਾਜਾ ਅੱਜ ਮੇਰਾ ਹੱਥ ਛਟਿਆ ਤੋਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਵਾਜ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੇ 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 ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਤੂੰ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਭੈਣ ਭਰਾਵੋ ਇਹ ਰਾਜੇ ਨੂੰ ਜਗਾਵੋ ਇਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਚਲਿਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਸ਼ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਤੁਰ ਚਲਿਆ ਪਰਦੇਸ਼ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਮੇਰੇ ਭੈਣ ਭਰਾਵੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਲੋਰਡ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਦਿਲ ਦਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਅਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਾਉਂਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਹੋਰ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸੁਣਾਉਂਦੀ ਮਸੀਹ ਦੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਗਾਉਂਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਤੋ ਮੇਰੀ ਬਾਤ ਸੁਣਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਸੁਣਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਰਾ ਲਈ ਦੁਆ ਕਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਰਾ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਬੱਚਾ ਆਵੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਾਂ ਦੋ ਵਾਰੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੁਆ ਕਰੂੰਗੀ ਤੇ ਬੇਬੀ ਆਊਗਾ ਯੂ نو ਇਸ ਨਾਉ ਦ ਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਜਿੰਦਾ ਚਾਲਡ ਇਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਸੂਨ ਪਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਦੈ ਹਾਊ ਕਮ ਹਾਊ ਕਨ ਯੂ ਲੀਵ ਅਸ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਪੈਂਡੈਮਿਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੇ ਕੈਟ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਖਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਖਾਣਾ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਕਦੀ ਪੈਂਡੈਮਿਕ ਖਤਮ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਵੀ ਕਨ ਆਲ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਅਰਜਿੰਦਰੀ ਮੈਂਬਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਣ ਰਲ ਕੇ ਅਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਇਨ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਨਾਓ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਮੂਮੀ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਆਲ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਆਲਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਆਲ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਦੇ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਨਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਆਨ ਸਰ ਦਿਸ ਪਲੇਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਟੇਕ ਮੀ ਫੋਰ ਆਵਰ ਕਾਫੀ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਫੋਰ ਵੈਲ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਆਫ ਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਜੀ ਸਾ ਸਾਥੀ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਫਰ ਨਾ ਕੋ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਜੋਇਨ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਅਗੇਨ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਟ ਇਟ ਕਾਲ ਫੋਰ ਸੋਲ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰੋਇਸ ਈਗਲ ਡੈਥ ਇਨ ਸਾ In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our God of Virginia in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him in the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Virginia in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain. to comfort one another with the truths of faith, until we all meet in Christ, and with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take Rajinder to his place of Christ.